Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is what we're going to be doing today. It is kind of complex, I can't lie. It did take me a while and I took my time, so um, I really wanted everything to look precise and perfect and I would definitely put this on the more difficult side of the spectrum as far as how difficult um, the makeup look would be. But it's fun and it's different, so I think it's worth giving a shot. And one of the best things about this look is that we are using the scotch tape trick. So don't be scared of getting product everywhere. Just take your time, and I'm sure it'll come out amazing. Um, we're going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and also the ColourPop Golden State of Mind Palette two of my absolute favorites right now. So just to begin, grab your scotch tape and just put it right along the line where you would like it to go. And we will begin. So first take your <clears throat> favorite blending brush, which I always talk about mine. It's an IT Cosmetics blending brush. And we're going to use the color warm taupe. This is a warm skin color in my opinion. And I just first put that right in my crease. Just a really light base. And then I'm going to pick up burnt orange. This is one of my favorites. And I'm going to do the same thing right in my crease, buffing inwards and outwards like that. And then once we're done with that, I'm taking a different blending brush. It has a little bit more of a tip to it, and I'm going to use the color, which one did I use? Um, Real Gar. And I'm just going right in the corner and focusing a little bit lower, like the lowest part of my crease. Look at how like amazing this trick is. Like you can just pull it out all the way and the tape is gonna catch it. Perfect. And then after that, I'm taking an even smaller blending brush. These are mostly MAC brushes. Um, this is a 221 and I'm going to use the shade Love Letter. One of my favorites. So pretty. Don't be afraid to use pinks and reds. They are so fun. And because this brush is smaller, it's creating a more precise line in my crease with that color, which is exactly what I want. And once you have that, you're basically done with that step. <clears throat> Next is going to be our cut crease look which we've done a million times it's my favorite kind of right now and just take your concealer brush and any concealer I'm using boiling um, by benefit and keep your eye open and just pull that concealer And remember, you want this to look really precise in your crease, so I keep my eye open at all times for this. And I put a fair amount of concealer on because the thicker the concealer base, the easier that whatever shadow or glitter or shade I put over this, it will hold. So you don't, you shouldn't be afraid to make this kind of thick. And once you have that done, we're going to use our Golden State of Mind palette, and I'm going to use this shade. It is called Zero Clue, which is kind of cool because it looks like this blue, icy, cold shade. So it reminds me of like below zero temperatures, icy, cool. <clears throat> I don't know. 
that's my thought process. Um, I'm just going to take another concealer brush to pick up this because these are super glittery pigmented palettes. So if you take a concealer brush, it kind of picks up the product easier than a typical fluffy brush would. Um, fluffy brushes and glitter don't always mix because the glitter just kind of falls off. So just keep that in mind. Tip for the future. And I'm just kind of packing it on. And at first it's not going to be as brilliant as, you know, that side, but you'll see we kind of go in layers here. This palette is so awesome. I'm a huge glitter lover and this is like every shade of glitter that I could ever want. So I really shouldn't be buying any more glitter products for a good year. <laughs> Doubt that'll happen though. Um, so now I'm just going to wet this brush a little bit with Fix Plus. This is kind of like the second layer and I'm gonna use that same color and then just pack it on and you can see now it's really starting to show up and show that like undertone of icy blue. Oops. So here's a really good example of a mistake that can be made. If you get some color in that crease, just take a really tiny brush. <clears throat> it doesn't have to look just like this, just something that's really tiny and just kind of like blend it away. Don't be afraid to like use your fingers. Mistakes will happen, especially with cut creases and trying to like make them look perfect. So I'm just gonna go right back into my Modern Renaissance palette, grab the color Love Letter, which is what's right in there, and go right over it like that. Makeup is so easy to just fix, so don't stress out. <clears throat> So basically that's all done. Um, now we're going to do the most difficult part in my opinion, which is the glitter. Um, this is NYX Liquid Crystal Line Glitter. I'm basically going to do this very slow and I'm going to do it in layers so that I can get very, um, I don't know, I just want it to show really well because sometimes when I do this glitter it just kind of like spreads it across and doesn't really pick it up that well. So. Um, I'm going to go right in the crease, right on that line. And just like follow. When I get to this point right here, I use the tip of my brush. Oh, I just messed up a lot. Okay. <clears throat> I'm glad I'm making mistakes today because I can just show people how to fix them. So just take that concealer brush and wipe it away. See how easy that was? So I use the tip when I get to this center because like you just saw, it can spread the product if you kind of go too much on the edge. So just do really small flicks with the tip of the brush. And at the end, if you feel like too much glitter is rising up into that pink color, we can wipe it away and we can add more shadow. So I'm just adding glitter on. It's kind of like glitter nail polish. When you put on glitter nail polish, it doesn't spread evenly. That would be a perfect world. So you kind of have to keep going over it until you get like the desired look. And I don't go too heavy down here in my crease, so I'm just gonna do one layer there. And then we go back. And there's that. So, to clean it up a little bit, taking that concealer brush And I just wiped away the glitter like that. And then I'm going to take my, where'd that small little guy go? 
this small little brush with some more love letter and go right over it. And to kind of blend it out a little bit, you can use that shade and just be really careful. Perfect. So now we're going to do some black liner. So just any black liner that you have. This is my least favorite thing to do. And I'm gonna start in the tear duct. I only use liner because it helps blend strip lashes better. Um, I like a good cat eye, but I swear, like, liner could give me a stroke. It's so stressful. If you don't want to do this step, like, you don't have to. Just saying. So, now that I've done that, whew, take that tape away. <clears throat> I'm just gonna clean up right here a little bit. Oh my god, there's people in my yard. There's little kids in the yard and Hardy is crazy. This is... Oh, they lost their dog. This is really weird. Bad timing. Okay, I'm just gonna continue on. Hardy! Oh my god. I can't believe... This is my life. These people always lose their dog. Hardy, uh-uh, come here. Come here, baby. Come here. It's all right, he can't fit through. Come on, he can't fit because he has a comb in his head. He just got neutered. I know, I know. I don't know who that was. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Anyways. I'm taking that brush that had the pink color going right underneath this. Oh my God. Hardy. This is reality, right? I mean, at least I'm keeping it real. Most makeup artists do videos in a quiet setting. <laughs> and then there's me. Okay, enough, they're gone. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm going to take some of this color now. Uh-uh. And put it right in my tear duct. He will stop, I promise. He's just trying to figure out life and protect the home. He actually doesn't bark ever, which is, like, so great, too, because, I mean, he's a dog, so that's not something that I would have expected when we first got him, but he's not a barker. He... Just, um, he does like a friendly growl. Stop it. He only barks when there's like people like this, um, like on our lawn. Um, stop, uh-uh, cut it out. You're fine, they're gone. When he wakes up in the morning, it's like, and it's like a happy growl. So I like it better than, you know, having like a beagle that doesn't shut up. Um, so I'm just putting some mascara here. I also added some of that glitter right on the end here. Just kind of like brighten up both sides. And now I'm going to take one of my strip lashes, which I put glue on these like maybe 15 minutes ago. So I don't know if they'll still stick to me, but I'll try. Just plopping it down there. Love 
liberté. It's like a little glue thing in this corner. There we go. There it is, folks. It's fun. It's glittery. And it's Valentine's Day. So, um, this is Buxom, by the way, Sophia Gloss. Everyone asks me about um, my lipsticks and my lip glosses because I love nudes and I love pinks and that's like a really popular color to go for, I guess. So, I love Buxom Gloss and I also love Marc Jacobs Gloss. So, if you ever are wondering, like, what do I use mainly, that's it. And the last step is just spraying some Fix Plus, and then I can't forget about, I always do a little bit of highlight right on my brow bone, and over here. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're done. This was an interesting video, and I hope you have a good weekend and holiday. Bye.